how to deal with someone's memory which makes me so sad so kamal i think a lot of us will resonate with this uh question of yours right and lot of us have at least that one person in our life whose memory makes us feel sad now the memory that makes you feel sad is not because of the person or that memory what makes you feel sad is that person is still not with you you're not able to love that person anymore or you're not able to spend time with that person anymore you're not receiving that love from that person anymore now sometimes these are your relationships like intimate relationships or sometimes it's the loved ones who are passed on the other side right so all of us have at least that one person in our life where we feel that uh, when we think of that person we feel sad because we have missed that person right now i've dealt with it myself like there are many occasions and it still happens sometimes that i'm going to be as real as possible that uh i lost my mother 15 years back and initially the the period was very difficult for me and i was really really you know every single day struggling to be happy honestly for almost 4 years uh i was depressed i was sad every single day and nothing felt uh nothing felt worthy enough or worth enough to give my 100% to it as a nature i am a 100% giving person but internally it was killing me and it was such an uphill task i think the only thing that kept me going was my son because i felt that you know i'm a mother and i can't just give up on life like that because otherwise i had no interest left in anything and i realized when i was i started therapy and i started working on myself the realization that happened to me at that time was that it's not that i'm missing my mother so much what i'm missing and what i'm grieving about is my unexpressed love to my mother so i couldn't express my love to my mother as much as i would have liked to because you know life takes over and we get busy and when we get busy and when we are building our life we get don't get to so much time to be with our parents sometimes and when i understood that it was my unexpressed love for my mother that was making me feel sad then i then i realized i can overcome that because what i started doing is i started writing a a, a letter to my mother every single day now i'm a old school person like you know even though i access social media and i'm doing all of these lives etc uh but i'm not someone who's uh, who's someone who types on the phone right so i i always used to have the notebook and pen with me and every single day i sat down and i wrote my love for my mother and how i feel i started talking to her through my letters to her and when i started doing this every single day over a period of 30 days when 30 letters were done i started feeling much lighter in my space i started feeling much better in my space i started feeling that now i can miss her with love i don't miss her now with sadness because you know every moment otherwise if when my my son won a trophy when uh, i did something great when i got a award i would miss her terribly and i would say oh if i was there is this time i mean she would have been so happy and eventually what happened is when all of those things happened i just felt so grateful that my mother is living through me and she is there even though she's physically not there she's energetically there because her atoms and her energy is in me and she's living through me and the legacy that i am passing on is actually her legacy and when i did this exercise and i still sometimes do it okay i lost my father about 3 4 years back in 2019 precisely and i write letters to my father also because now i got the key that i just need to write those letters and i need to express how i feel to my parents and the moment i started doing this it started making me feel so much grounded and when i started feeling grounded i started suddenly feeling uplifted what happens when you miss somebody and when you think of somebody that memory makes you feel you're unanchored it's like you know you become like the kite who's not held with manja so you start floating in the air without any anchoring and the moment you start writing these letters or express your feelings how you feel about it you suddenly start seeing that your body starts grounding and you start feeling much 
anchored in the space and when you feel anchored in your space you automatically start expressing more and you stop feeling sad so really do this process and this is for anybody and everybody it will help you so much it will help you so much and it will make you feel so lighter so filled with gratitude like today i'm extremely grateful for my parents to giving me what they gave me as a legacy and to be able to now create this entire community of people champions whom we call each other those who are creating their legacy so it's a beautiful uh, process just do it come back to me and tell me okay and if you got this process type process in the chat box type process in the chat box and give this person immense love for asking this question i know what you feel when you actually miss somebody so a lot of lot of love to you okay lot of love to you dear